It is that time of the year. The air is filled with festive cheer. Yes, that was a little bit cheesy, but it's Christmas, so I can get away with it. We are officially in the festive season and Christmas is coming up. So what is the most important thing about Christmas Day? I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter F. It's not family, it is food. For any concerned family members, that was obviously a joke. You are the most important by far. But for the purpose of this video, our focus is going to be Christmas food because basically I'm going to be eating face to food for this entire day. I went to great lengths to source all the face to food ranges from the most popular grocery stores here in the UK. Sainsbury's, Tesco's, M&S, Little and Aldi. So we are going to be trying all these food ranges and then rating them so that you know which grocery store's festive range is on Santa's nice list and which ones you should probably just not bother with at all. We are starting off with the most important meal of the day, breakfast. I've been in the UK for three years now and what I've learned over the years is that one of the most important British traditions is to have chocolate for breakfast on Christmas. Let me know if you think that is inaccurate but that's just what I've picked up over the years and I believe the correct form of chocolate is chocolate coins. However, when I went to m and I spotted these chocolate Brussels sprouts and I just thought they were hilarious. So let's try these sprouts and see if they'll put a smile on your face on Christmas morning. Another way to get your chocolate fix in the morning is with some hot chocolate. And I spotted this salted caramel flavored hot chocolate at Sainsbury's and that just sounded like Christmas morning in a cup. We still need some type of sustenance. There's a lot of chocolate going on at the moment. How about some elf munch mix? If you're thinking, what in the world is that? It's actually this cereal that I picked up at Sainsbury's as well and basically the cereal is a mix of strawberry flavored elf hoops, choco pops, mini cornflakes and festive stars. Let's get everything prepped and then we can enjoy our breakfast. Let's go ahead and try the cereal first because I don't want it to get soggy. Next we have our cup of salted caramel hot chocolate and I don't know if you can see the steam coming out but it looks so delicious. Let's see if it actually tastes delicious as well. Overall, it was a very festive breakfast, but it's time to get down to the ratings now. For the m and chocolate Brussels sprouts, a 4 out of 5 candy canes. They are a bit small, but there's quite a few in that bag. And they are solid chocolate bowls. They're not hollow in the middle. So it is quite a lot of chocolate in that one bite. Moving on to Sainsbury's, we have the Elf Munch Mix cereal. And I really enjoyed this. I could definitely taste all the different flavors that they mentioned, the strawberry, the cornflakes, the chocolate. So when you take a bite, there's a lot going on, but in a good way. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five candy canes. The salted caramel hot chocolate. Oh my goodness. I want to stock up with this for the rest of the year. That was the best hot chocolate I've ever tasted. Obviously it has to be a five out of five candy canes. So well done Sainsbury's. So far your face of range has a five out of five for all the products. We are back in the kitchen and that means it's time for the next meal lunch lunch is a tricky one for christmas because do you do the big meal for lunch or the big meal for dinner seeing as i am the only cook in the kitchen today i'm going to make the executive decision that we are going to do a small lunch big dinner tesco's had quite a few appetizers to choose from so i thought that would be the perfect lunch they even had a deal on so it was three for two and i ended up saving five pounds so the three appetizers that I picked up from Tesco's are whipped feta samosas, barbecue beef mac and cheese cups, and pork and truffle bonbons. I think it's a pretty good selection that we picked up. I'm especially excited for the mac and cheese cups. 
but it's all gonna come down to the taste. Do these actually taste good? We need to pop it into the oven and then we'll find out. Lunch is ready. Obviously you can dress it up a bit that it looks a lot better on Christmas day. Maybe even change it into a whole platter. But today we are focusing on the taste. So I'm gonna start off with the whipped feta samosa. Now for the barbecue and mac and cheese pot. Ooh, look at that cheese. And lastly, we are going in for the pork and truffle bonbon. Like I said earlier, it's a pretty good variety of options. But now it is time for the ratings. Starting with the samosa. This one gets a 3 out of 5 candy canes for me. I liked a bit of flavor. So I think if you want to go for the samosa, definitely add a dipping sauce. Secondly, we have the mac and cheese pots and I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 candy canes. Maybe I am biased because I can literally live off of mac and cheese, but I also think that that makes me very critical of my mac and cheese. It definitely had a good cheese pull, as you saw, and getting that in such a small cup of mac and cheese I think is pretty impressive. The pork bonbons, I'm going to give a 4 out of 5. I wouldn't say it was anything special but it definitely tasted good overall i am impressed with these products from taste guys especially with the three for two deal oh my gosh i got distracted by my guilty pleasure watching christmas baking shows and i didn't show you guys the snacks that i got I've switched it back to our aesthetic Christmas background and I want to show you guys all the snacks that I picked up from Aldi. First up we have the Christmas tree tortillas. How could this not put a smile on your face? And it doesn't stop there. These are actually turkey and stuffing flavor. These next ones might not look too Christmassy, but they are supposed to be sausage roll flavor. They smell very interesting. But is that a good or a bad thing when it comes to the taste? Lastly, we have some star or snowflake pretzels. I like to think that they are snowflakes. And these are sour cream and chives flavor. As you saw moments ago, I have already tried all of these while watching Sugar Rush, so we can get straight into it. Let me tell you about my ratings. The Christmas tree tortillas definitely have a lot of flavor. It saddens me to say that the sausage roll puffs, unfortunately, are a no from me. I love sausage rolls, but in this form, it's just not working for me. The pretzels are obviously a safe choice. It's sour cream and chives. You can't really go wrong with their flavor. Overall, the Aldi snacks are going to get a three out of five candy canes. There is definitely a lot of flavor in each of them, but I'm just not sure if I'm loving the flavor. It is a couple of hours late now and it is finally time for Christmas dinner. However, just remember we still have dessert coming as well, so this is not the grand finale. Comment down below, what are you more excited about? Christmas dinner or Christmas dessert? Anyway, back to the present. We're focusing on dinner right now. Dinner brings up a lot of mixed emotions for me. When I walked into M&S yesterday, I can honestly tell you that I did not expect to find this. And after finding this, I'm not sure if I like the idea or if I'm horrified by the sight of it. Currently at M&S, you can find this meal for one full roast turkey dinner. You've got British turkey, you've got golden Yorkshire pudding, you've got rich gravy, pigs in blankets, and veg. I mean, it is definitely a full Christmas dinner in this container, but the packaging is giving Christmas Eve dinner on an airplane. But you can always just take it out, serve it on a nice plate. The in-laws will never know, or will they? Does it actually taste good? Let's find out. After 35 minutes in the oven, our turkey for one meal is ready. Obviously, I had to put it on another plate, so the serving situation has been corrected and it does instantly look a lot better. I do think they could have added a bit more sauce, but let's give this meal for one a go. 
I've had a taste of everything and so it is time to rate the most controversial meal of the day. I'll start with the positives. The meat in a meal, so the turkey and the pigs in blankets, they are pretty good. The Yorkshire pudding, can't really do anything wrong with that one. The problem that I have is definitely with the potatoes and the vegetables. It just tastes very bland. That's why I wanted a bit more sauce. Sadly, potatoes are my favorite part of any roast dinner. So it's a bit of a disappointment. So I will give this a two and a half candy canes. I think that shows that half of it wasn't too bad. The other half really missed the mark and nothing really blew my taste buds away. If you've made it this far into the video, firstly, thank you so much for watching. Secondly, I think it's going to be worth the wait because we are now at the dessert. I think I found the most iconic Christmas dessert ever. Can we get a drum roll, please? I'll give you a closer look so that you can also see the detail on the house. You will see there's a golden shimmer to it. And then obviously you have the dusting of the snow, which is so cute. Inside is actually Belgium white chocolate mousse, salted caramel sauce, white chocolate snowballs, whatever that is. And it has a chocolate cookie base. You also then get a pouch of dark chocolate to heat up and pour into the house. There is, however, one awkward thing about all of this. I didn't read the instructions and you need to defrost this house for eight hours before trying to eat it. Luckily, that's not going to make any difference to you. But just a heads up that I'm probably going to be wearing different clothes when you see me trying this in the next clip. And just like that, we are back. You've seen the close-up of the dessert from the outside. Now it is time to see the inside. Admittedly, I felt a bit sad cutting into this picture-perfect dessert, but I think it's going to be worth it because if you look at all the delicious layers in here, there's no way this can't be good. But the only way to confirm that is to give it a taste. So let's go in for it. Mind is blown. This is one of the base desserts that I've ever eaten. Not even just Christmas desserts, just base desserts, period. I don't think I've even mentioned where this is from. This was from Lidl, which also means that it was really affordable. This is a huge dessert. It looks amazing. This is definitely a showstopper. If you put this down on the Christmas table, people will be talking about it. And then I have confirmed that it tastes amazing as well. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 5 candy canes because it's better than anything I've tried today. And I really think it's very good value for money. Thank you for coming on this festive food journey with me today. I had so much fun trying all the Christmas food from the different grocery stores. And I think we found some really good options to serve over Christmas. I hope you also enjoyed seeing what's in the store at the moment. Definitely let me know if you are going to be picking up any of the options that I tasted today and which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a like down below to help support my channel and to help get this video out there and if you want to see more of my videos i'm definitely going to be posting some more christmas content and i also love to share my life here in edinburgh so if you want to see more of that remember to subscribe down below as well thank you so much for watching and then i will see you in a new video next week